G'day guys. Welcome back to another episode. This is uh, Jordan's and my last episode, our um, our last sort of fishing session, eh? Yep, the final one. The final one. We thought we'd try and squeeze in one more. I'll get to take off to the other side of the Cape today sometime, so, and we just wanted to fish properly, just fit in one more session. So it's pretty early, it's about 7 a.m. Yeah. The sun's just poking up. Um, we just got to this little spot here and the water's moving. Some Heaps of bait. Some big fish swimming around. Yeah. So the plan is to put the boat in and just shoot down to the mouth and explore down there. Um, big fish are probably here, so we're going to go to the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there's bait getting busted up. I feel like there's a bite window happening right now. Right there. now, right here, right now. You should set a rod up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the boat off. I'll set the camera up so you guys get to see that because I missed it last time. Drop the boat off and um, shoot down to the mouth, do a bit of fishing, try and squeeze in an episode for you guys, try and chase some big girls and then um, come back, pack it all up and hit the road to the to the east coast and I've got a pretty amazing adventure planned for over there which I can't wait to share with you guys. So hope you've enjoyed it all so far. It's a shame to be leaving Jordan behind um, but there's going to be plenty more adventures with Jordan I reckon. So. Yeah, we'll see each other again mate. We certainly will. To stay posted for all of that. All right, I'm gonna to get to work because we wanna. We don't wanna miss this morning session. Always run a zip tie or something like that through these clamps on your trailer, even on your boat. So you don't lose your motor. Those things on corrugations and that will eventually just rattle around, rattle loose, and then no motor. But at the moment we're in Cape York. We're on the lower west-hand side of Cape York, which is the Gulf of Carpentaria. And um, this land here is traditional land of the Cockabera, Cockabera tribe or Cockabera clan. Um, this is their traditional country through here. And yeah, we just wanted to do some barra fishing. So hopefully today you're gonna to see some barramundi because a lot of this trip, a lot of this season so far has been about showing you guys the cultural side of things. There's been a bit of fishing, you know, to, to catch our food, but there are some huge mullets from swimming past. Um, but I wanna show you guys, you know, obviously I love my fishing. So hopefully this morning we're gonna see some big barramundi. Great. Oh, great. Yeah. We did it the other day. Catch some barra. The tide's actually looking really good, hey? Yeah. Lots of water moving through. Nice rock. Rocks here, which there should be rocks underneath this as well, hopefully. And it goes back this way about 100 metres, so we'll hit this section for a while and we might move up the river. That tide's ripping. Oh, you got it. Oh, it's Just dropped one, bloody braid broke on him. And now, first cast back out. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. No, mate. You bastard. What did I do to deserve that? Nothing. Mate, 
you guys something. can injure. Look at it. What's going on with this bloody spot? It's just. Gosh. No, well. Got here on, at the good time. Let's just hope our gear holds up. Didn't he have some fighting? Yeah, I reckon that would have been close to a 70, man. Yeah. 65, yeah. definitely over 60. That, yeah. The fish are here. They're here. It's dampened my mood a bit. Got me down until I until I hook another barrel. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy again. Uh, lost a good fish. Not happy. So we both lost a good fish. Mine's bigger than Jordan's. <laughs> we didn't even get to see mine. Giving him some line this time. <laughs> Loosen up that drag. Keep the rod tip nice and low. Yeah. Oh, I didn't oh. like the look of you. You didn't. Oh, he's good, mate. He's swallowed. Yes! 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 Oh, that's, oh, yes. That's, that's a good barra. Yep. That's awesome. It's got to be 70, eh? Oh. Sorry, I'm going to check it in there. Let's see yeah. That's the Berkeley shimmer in there. Deep in there. <laughs> Swallowed it. Oh, that's sick. Just hoovered it straight down. Get the vibe out and I'll show you. Keeping a couple, mate. Actually, we've got the measuring mat here. We'll measure him up. Look at that! <laughs> That's a pretty good yes. bear. Our last fishing, fishing session. And it was worth it just for this. Yep. I reckon that's 75. So stoked with that. That's a good one. I'm going to put this big boy back. Hopefully, we get some more. Oh, yeah, wrapped with that. Look at that. He's smashed that leader. So I'm going to cut that off there and retie it. Oh, dropped it! Oh, I got a good bite! That was a heavy one. Damn it. What's that plunk line? Oh no, he's going to shoot it. Nice. Jeez man, he's got some fight. Shot. Pretty good threading though.
Look at that. That's a good thready, man. That's mate. a bloody ripper. Oh, How long you reckon? Ripper. Stoked at that. I just put this lure on, this plastic, and he's just coming out like the first cast. Yeah. Oh, man. Good one, mate. You are lucky we don't have an esky. Yeah. It would be nice, eh? It would be. No, we're getting on. We'll get some. <laughs> All right, put him back in the drink. All right. Good stuff, mate. Thanks, mate. Jordo's not feeling it. No, I'm not feeling it. So he dropped the big one earlier, straight away, busted the braid. I've got to work out what braid that is because I've got it on both of my reels. And this trip, we're just having trouble with it. It just seems to be breaking. And when we got the line back, we ended up getting that lure back and the line. And there was like, I don't know, 15 meters of braids. So it just broke in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, what a rip of fish that was. Big thready, pretty good barra. I dropped another barra. Jordan's dropped a big one. Not a bad little session for the morning. Yeah, yeah we'll keep chipping away here and I don't know, send the drone up maybe on the way back to the cruiser. We've got one more little spot up our sleeve where you saw us the other day with Pop Rex um, and we caught a handful of good fish so we're going to hit that on the way back. was pretty bloody cool we, on the way here we saw we came around one corner i think jordan missed it and there's this big crock head i don't know how big it was because i couldn't see the body but the head was like was huge it, was it do you think it would have been bigger than that second one no nah, i saw? think the second one was bigger That's so this second. big head i think i got it on film and his head just goes under and then the second one i was like grabbing for the camera come around this corner and there's you could see his whole body this huge big croc how big do you reckon oh, i want to say five or six meters yeah I, I would have said the same thing. Five to six meters, big croc. And he actually took off quite slow at first, eh? Hey? Yeah, he let us have a good look at him before he, before yeah. he went down. Before he went down. So hopefully you guys get to see that on camera because that was cool. Yeah, hopefully you uh, got that one. That was awesome. Yeah. It's cool to show you guys some crocs because a lot of people, you know, you don't get to see a lot of crocs in the content and then you, everyone starts to wonder if they're actually here, but trust me. <laughs> There's big crocs here, they're much bigger than our boat. Yep. Right, I'm gonna send oh, the drone up. We saw was definitely bigger than the Oh boat. yeah, you think we're in a 3.7 meter boat and he's 5.7 to 6 meters. Yeah, I'm gonna send the drone up. Jordo's gonna catch a barrow.
Net job. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he inhaled that. Very nice. Yeah. Sucked that in, didn't he? Yep. This is what I was trying to explain to people yesterday how they feed, the way they just suck all the water and inhale it. Yeah. Like a vacuum. Yeah. And then it all pushes out their gills. Got him. Mm. Nice Got him one. good. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Good looking. So, so far this trip, Jordan's got the biggest barra. Went 85 centimetres. When we push down to the coastline in the um, the tinny and the quad bike, but he doesn't know it yet. But I'm about to take over. About to hook a meter. <laughs> I'm about to get an 86 centimetre barra. <laughs> Not that it's a competition. Yeah, yeah. Friendly competition. <laughs> Wrong one. In the shallows up there. Yes. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I thought that go. Ooh. Nah. Barrett's ready. Barra. Oh, maybe it's ready. Yeah. Slim Twitch is done and again. <laughs> He's oh, done it. What a legend. There's no real rats today, hey? They're all sort of that 60 size. Yeah, all 60 or bigger. That's bloody good. Yeah, He's good, another clean looking fish. Crony. Yeah, love another it. Twitcher yet again. She never fails. Damn, does it? Yeah. Nice mate, you just said one more would be good. Yeah. And we've nailed it. Three weeks now, Jordan here has been forgetting to lift the plonk. <laughs> this could be the last time we got him. <laughs> I wonder why you're away. <laughs> just once today, you know you put the first in. <laughs> 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 Very good that. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna miss hearing that. <laughs> no, I fully. Plonk. <laughs> I got ya! <laughs> I got ya. Just grab that plonk for us, mate. <laughs> this is this one. <laughs> Just gonna throw it overboard. <laughs> The boat ramp. Coming in hot. That's better. All right, guys. Now you probably know the drill by now. To get the boat up out of these rivers, we use the winch on the Land Cruiser. Um, we do have that little trailer and the quad bike and all that, but um, you know, obviously. It's not really worth it to do these little tiny missions. So what I'm going to do, I'll leave all this rope on there for now, is use a soft shackle from Sabre. This is that big long one, like I said before in one of those other episodes. It's bound with, with whatever that is, which makes it really strong and versatile because it's so long. It's much longer than the usual one. So this is a soft shackle. It takes all the metal out of your recovery and it's really handy for things like this, just joining things together. So you see the loop and the knot. You can loosen off that loop, put it through there, tighten it up, and that's it. <coughs> so, got the uh, winch rope here. Now I'm going to put that through the handles. Like that. Put that through there. Put the knot through the loop, tighten it up. 
and then I'll bring that around to about center. Hopefully there's not a big crocodile sitting here. And that's it, we'll pull that up. Jordan flying the drone for the first time over here. Oh, look at the brogas. Oh, it's awesome. Huge big wetland in there and you can see all the damage from the pigs. They've just smashed the edges of that wetland. This looks so nice. No crocodiles. Doesn't look like it. Beautiful is it? Little egret out there feeding. Plenty of lilies. Bit of vitamin C. All we've been eating is bloody meat, fish. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get one of them too. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I see the one you're looking at. Ah. Ah. Good? Yeah. This tastes so good. Yeah, well Pop, Pop Rex makes, makes he makes a cup of tea out of this water. <laughs> so refreshing. Patreon.com forward slash wild reaches if you want to join the tribe there and support what we do and um, allow the adventures to get bigger and better. And that's all folks. That's all. That's it. That's all. Thank you, George. Oh good mate. You're a bloody legend. Um, and we'll, we'll all see you, I don't know, soon. Yep. Alright. See ya. See ya. So that's a spear rod tree. This is the one that got This is the one the old people used to break over.
we break that branch off but not right off. Yep. Clean it over. And then all these offshoots will then be dead straight. Yeah. And they float, these ones float. You can belt them into a Monday or something. And the only thing is, um, they break easy. Unlike the salt water ones, they're hard to swim. They look like our creepers, they got these. That's a Leichhardt tree? Yeah, that's a Leichhardt tree. And they got like a, a big carrot underneath. That you can eat? There's people here looking after it for us. And it's got them too much. They're angry little fellas, aren't they? Yeah, they saw me touch it. So the Leichhardt trees always have this? Yeah, little collars around them. <laughs> and the big leaves. That's a K-pop tree. That's a K-pop? Yeah, that's a K-pop. Holy shit. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Yeah, and um, it's the marker of the season when it flowers. It has the big red flowers and they fall on the ground. All the wallabies come and get fat on them because there used to be a lot of them. The old people used to make hides and sit there and wait. <laughs> and it wasn't just the wallabies, the bandicoots and everybody wanted to go. So they, they got a... So that was a good time of year. For a month. For a month. Yeah. It was called Fat Wallaby time. Up all the yeah. Is there many of these around at that size? Yeah, yeah. But they're less and less because the fire's getting in here. Yeah. You, know, you can see the fire then. Yeah. And they, they don't like that. So there's a good chance that the old people used to sit around this area having a big, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. big feed. Away. Yeah, me too. I didn't know they got that big. What's this one? This one, donut, candle tea. Oh yeah. The fires put them all up. So you get a straight one of these. And you've got to get one with no branches and stuff. Because you've got to have a straight, clean, beautiful piece of wood. That'll be good. Later. Yeah. Oh no, it's got a bit of 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 a So at some stage we'll go back to Vibs and I'll show you what he was talking about, how the stone axe. Yeah? Thank you.